this is the who knows <laughs> yeah who knows what okay. episode this is um this introductions be. i think we should start out with again yeah, all right yeah I mean, all right you go this time i go okay yeah. uh verbal laxative this is jason and this is Sinson. And this is Hassan. <laughs> okay, we're good for intros. I don't think you should ever do intros ever again. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we'd have to do that like every time. Uh, okay. No, no, like, no, you don't uh, have to. Uh, I, 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 don't I don't know. If you don't feel like doing it, we're not no. going to pressure you to do it. This is just so people know who's talking. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, we can do that every time. We'll rotate, I suppose. We'll, just, we'll, we'll write out a it. schedule. And then if you can't, you know, if you can't do the intro on that day, you just call ahead and tell us, and then we'll hopefully get someone to fill in for you. Yeah, get a guest star too. too. <laughs> this is well, so stupid. Well, yeah, while, while we're the three of us are here, we're like, you didn't tell us you can't do the intro, man. <laughs> Why didn't you do it? Now, no, now what are we gonna do? <laughs> like, I can do the podcast. I just can't do the intro. I can't do the intro. Too. All He's right. here, but he just don't want to do it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That's how we run this ship here. We have to run it with discipline. Yeah. Or else it all falls apart. Just it's already keep... falling apart. It is falling okay. apart. Um, <laughs> are you actually going to say something before? No, uh, no, no. Interrupted for the intro crap? No, no. Okay. Definitely not. You all can right. cut that entire beginning out if you want to. No, it's like the first one. We're going to keep everything. All right. Sounds good. Did anybody have anything planned for after the intro? No. no, this is it. No. <laughs> we only we only planned up to the intro for our. Uh, We're gonna episode. basically just buy time for the rest of the hour. Or just or for an Good. hour plus something. Good planning. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding, man. I came prepared. Okay. All right. Well, no, no, no. This is one thing that was like that kind of jumped out at me because I was reading the news like I usually do because I have no life. But uh, they said something about like. I don't know. I don't know. Like this is not recent news, but I guess it's sort of recent within a couple months. But it was like public that the uh, the U.S. government was uh, had a UFO program, <laughs> and they were like uh, they were investigating, like actually investigating UFOs. They leaked it like in December or something, like, like Area last... Fifty One thing, or more no, no, official, like like, like not a... more like official. And then and basically, this guy came out, and he used to be, uh, I believe, he used to be one of the directors at the defense department and then you know he comes out he's like yeah ufos are real you know <laughs> makes a new like uh an organization that's basically let me see to the stars academy of arts and science i think something like that and he he's he now this guy that used to be part of a uh, defense department he like comes out and says hey man the ufos are real i'm gonna make this uh i'm gonna make this organization that uh we, we we're gonna investigate ufos some more and i just realized like, no one really gives a shit now <laughs> well this all those conspiracy theorists and stuff they're gonna have a heyday with that well do you think like we've become numb just just from all that you know like ufo sightings everywhere now well like, do they have like concrete proof of well anything? they this guy like uh he came out with some videos and then one of them was a video of um like an infrared imaging video from an f-18 off the coast of san diego or something and then it was showed like the pilots basically uh, uh, recording this blob or whatever that's flying. And then the pilots themselves, the Navy pilots, are like, "Holy shit, dude! What what is that? What the fuck is that?" And they're like, "What is that? is that? A drone or something? I don't know, man. It flies. It's like it's flying really weird." And apparently, like they made this all public, right, just recently. And then uh, uh, the whole story was uh, this destroyer near the co- off the coast of San Diego. Mm-hmm. Uh, spotted on radar and then they flew some F-18s to take a look at it and then that's when the infrared video came out you can you can look it's like it's yeah. on YouTube and then after that it's like no one really cares <laughs> that's not like a proven UFO right no no but this is like, like one of those light you know blobs? this is this is more like an authoritative source than usually the, u- the usual tin hat wearing guy that says you know fuck I was abducted by aliens after a night of heavy drinking and fuck man I think I was anally, anally probed by them and you know, they probably put some like microchip in. It's not like that. These yeah, are like two yeah. like Navy pilots, and they have the thing on like the infrared, forward-looking infrared. And then you know now, and we're like, that's not good enough for me, man. I'd rather get the guy that got anally probed and is now wearing the tinfoil hat. Now <laughs> he was touched. <laughs> Has there been any other developments since then? Since no, December? it's just because like I'm not seeing anything well it's just uh, CNN this was uh, well this was a while back March 13th 2018 and it says video shows Navy jets encounter with a UFO group says and it's from this group this guy that used to be in 
the Defense Department, and now he's a uh, he's for he was a former head of the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, and now he works at this To the Stars Academy. <laughs> this. Academy that they came up with after he quit his job. Since they'd want to be pretty thorough in their research, do you think that they'd actually interview all the people that claim they've uh, been basically abducted, abducted or anything? I, I, I don't know because it seems to me that most of those people are just fucking crackpots and shit. Yeah, but <laughs> they if they have to do their due diligence, right? yeah, I mean, if, yeah. They're, if yeah. they are actually researching extraterrestrial life, then. But can you imagine sifting through that shit? You're going to be like, okay, anybody that has experiences with aliens and uh, getting whatever, probed by them, you know, give, shoot me an email and we'll interview you. You can imagine the characters you'll get for that. Why They'll have they to do it the if, they, if they're legit and they're going to tell us whether or they are telling us that um, aliens exist. You know, the funny thing is, you know, one of the reasons, one of the reasons he quit from that, whatever organization he was in before is because he was like... My bosses thought this was a waste of time. <laughs> like this is this is bullshit. If you think about it, they only gave him like this, that entire organization is like a government organization, and they only gave him like twenty two million dollar budget. Oh, I think man. they got they they probably spent more money uh, just like fucking upgrading. What would all their or all their money go towards anyways? Wow. Well, yeah, well just like, like a lot of money for well, you, I imagine you know anything government related, you always have like a whole shitload of money going into it. Yeah, twenty two I mean, million. It's is not related small. to like space exploration per no, no, se. No. So, what are they investing in? Like, I don't just know telescopes. <laughs> I don't know. Well, they would. I don't know. Like they use equipment to track things over i don't know <laughs> just lights in the sky you think they would give them like one like hey you could use one carrier you know one carrier all its planes you know go look for some ufos for me if they gave them a carrier i think that's overdoing it no that would be too You're much then. Find <laughs> <laughs> which is that at least a boat with like at least a telescope on yeah, it, right i think that'd be better just a dinghy i think that'd be more than 22 million <laughs> they can use the rest on like booze basically <laughs> they're just gonna drink on the ship or boat i should say not ship even yeah, no. I imagine a wooden rowboat. So I was watching that. I'm like, well, I think it's like, I bet you if you go ask random people nowadays, you'd be like, you believe in aliens? Oh yeah, everybody's seen UFOs now. Ooh. It's it's and nothing new anymore. Well, with everything in astrophysics and everything, I mean, it just the possibility keeps increasing, right? So with every new kind of well, especially with this one, it's just I, this one is just uh, it stands up because you know the people that were witness to this. They weren't like they they were navy pilots, and then they even yeah. described everything about it, right? They're like this uh, whatever it was, the the bogey or the UFO. It was like what forty feet in length, uh, so and so feet in whatever diameter. It basically looked like a kind of an oval, grayish oval shape. That's what they described. The hornet. Isn't pilots. that how they describe aliens in general? Yeah, hasn't, Just, hasn't there been older records of like? Navy pilots and Air Force pilots like seeing there being stories like that. And stuff yeah. like that. So I mean, how is this one? They got it on the the oh. the, the forward looking infrared oh. pod. Yeah. So they had the imaging of the infrared while they're lock while they're locking onto it. Yeah. And then the the pilot himself was was saying like, oh, you know, we we saw this uh, thing. Uh, it didn't really show up on radar when we went to try to pick it up. And it was like really, it was hovering really close to the water. And then they said, like, it just, if they said it flew in ways where it was like physically impossible. So for anything that we know of. Yeah, for, yeah, exactly. I don't know. I mean, again, depends on the pilots, I guess. I don't, if I, they actually saw so it's, it, it, it's, it is more other. than one. It was like two. It was pilots. two pilots. Yeah. It was actually, it was four. I, I think the, the F 18s they sent you, sent out were like the, the two seater versions. Yeah. yeah. So it was four in total. So two pilots, two weapon systems officers. They all, you know, like four pairs of eyes looking at this, and they're like, "Yep, this is, uh, this is, you know, <laughs> this, this is some X Files shit." Well, I mean, I don't know. Even if it is, would they actually go public with it? They or? did. This is no, this I mean, is all public. Thing. No, but public in a, like a bigger thing. Like they, maybe they went public with that, but now they have more. They've looked into it more, and that's why they're not releasing anything new, or they've done more. I don't know. <laughs> they did. They, they, he, the guy's boss didn't even think it was a big deal. He probably saw all this, you know, like yeah. When he was working there, the guy, the Department of Defense guy, hands over the video, the folders to his boss. His boss looks at it and is like, "What the fuck, man?" <laughs> <laughs> what if oh, you think this is important? They're just doing all this to get more money, or 
start a show or something. They're just sick of the normal <laughs> pilot life. Or they're trying to get Trump's attention because they need more funding. I want, I want, I heard about aliens. I want, yeah. I want more people to look for the aliens. They just have to, I mean, if they want more funding from Trump, all they have to do is convince him that well, he's, the he's, aliens they eventually find will build the wall around Mexico. He was already <laughs> build a wall around the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's the sky. If dies. aliens do exist, that's probably what they would do. Build a wall. No, he'll all see. No, he'll try to make deals with the aliens first. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I'll make. I make good deals. I'll make a really. I'll make an awesome deal. A fair deal. A strong deal. <laughs> or it could just be, you know, since so much attention is on, like, SpaceX and all this yeah. new space exploration stuff. It's like, they got the hype going, so yeah. this is how they're getting attention. But, like, just the simple fact that both of you didn't even know this news. <laughs> <I didn't laughs> like, know. It, wasn't, it wasn't headline stuff at all, you know what no. I mean? Yeah, I didn't hear anything I, about I didn't this. hear That's it was... why I was trying to look up something while you are talking right yeah man it was like filed away in the weird news section so (laughs) there is one video from thumbnail here from well i mean i don't know how much i can believe this it says uh, 2018 ufo UFO disclosure yeah that's Uh, it fox news with tucker carlson sort of oh yeah (laughs) he's on it tucker carlson yeah so that's why i don't know if that's real no this it's not like, you know, in Independence Day where, like, the freaking big city-sized uh, alien spacecraft came and everybody has lost their shit. This is, this is the opposite from that. This is, like, nobody really cares. They're like, like, oh, a, really? Yeah. Some loner alien made it to Earth. Yeah, like, <laughs> what's, what's the big deal, right? Fuck another UFO. <laughs> My news feed does not tell me anything like that. It's been censored for you. I you know how search you. I search to the stars and that's what... Well, I am just looking on my Google news feed. Yeah. Like, it personalizes it to, like, I think whatever you search yeah. or yeah, looked up yeah. in the past. And mine is just crap that I don't... I'm kind of sick of hearing about. It's, like, a lot of stuff on headphones because I was looking them up before I bought my headphones before. And stuff on... Like, I got Netflix. Got stuff on iPhone. Got anime and game news yeah that's all more important like, jesus <laughs> yeah but I, like, I want some strange random news too no but i don't I, get it the way the way society is going i bet you even the freaking aliens landed came out did a press conference within a day or two it's like it's it's, it's old news they'll be like oh yeah uh, yeah you hear about the aliens yeah 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 that was like a couple days ago right yeah, yeah that was good oh, what do you want for coffee oh, blah, 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 blah. okay so what if aliens actually landed yeah stepped out try to make contact like in person that must make the news right? no no no. cnn will still be talking about like trump or like stormy daniels or some shit <laughs> and then that's gonna be it'll, towards... be it'll be entertainment tonight that goes off <laughs> it's gonna be towards, uh, trump trying to make that wall around the earth <laughs> we're gonna build a wall the aliens are gonna help us build it now. <laughs> i think it's called a roof they're, it's they're... Above us. <laughs> <laughs> the aliens are coming to steal our jobs <laughs> oh man they're gonna try to make the aliens pay for it. Oh fuck! The aliens actually try to pay. Like, well, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, they just want. It's just not even currency. Like, just like that this? guy. That guy just like, you know what? Let's not cause trouble. Let's pay for it. Whatever, man. <laughs> they're like the <laughs> nicest aliens. Yeah, they're like just pay for it. Let's get the fuck out. It's like that guy that doesn't want to cause trouble at a, at a club where some guys like some drunk guys trying to pick a fight. Yeah, yeah, whatever, man. Just just buy him a drink and just leave him alone. <laughs> Let's leave. Yeah, it's freaking hassles. Yeah, man. I hate clubs. No, no. no. <laughs> clubs Sorry, are terrible. That's a bad tension. No, no, Go clubs on. are terrible. Yes, that's true. And if aliens did land, the last place you should ever take them would be a nightclub. Well, it depends what kind of alien, right? What if they like to party? They're just here to party. They're just here to party. Yeah. Do they, they party the same way we party? Oh <laughs> man. Yeah. Do you, do you guys have noses? <laughs> <laughs> if you have do noses, coke. then we're over. <laughs> do a line of coke. Watch the alien has an even better method. It's like you do coke this way. <laughs> Let me show you. I'd be impressed if they knew what coke was. Yeah, taste it. Puts it in their eyes. It turns purple. <laughs> <laughs> I hope to God if if aliens ever land, that is the last thing I expect. Out okay, of. what's the bigger deal? Um, I don't want to bring controversy into this, but okay, what's the bigger deal? Aliens actually landing and everything, or an actual proven um, showing of Christ? Uh, like it's actually him. Uh, yeah. I think aliens are easier to prove. Because, like, how are you going to yeah, prove I mean, it's Christ, right? 
he can turn water into wine. Well, People just, doubt him, yeah. It's just like fucking David Blaine. Thing. <laughs> yeah, da- what if David Blaine was Jesus? Okay, am I going into a hole here that I don't want to get into? I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how far. Going, let's so. let's get out of this. Religion is a pretty mellow we're, topic, I think. <laughs> I think you're totally fine. Yeah. It's, it's been mellow for thousands of years. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's been the most mellowest. I think you can talk about let's all you want about it. Stop <laughs> digging this hole before we have to cut more stuff. What are you talking about? We're People not. won't hear about the stuff from the first episode that we cut, but. Yes, yeah, so we'll stop this before we actually have to edit more crap. Cut all, cut, cut all of it now. Cut all of it. Nope, this part's staying in. <laughs> <laughs> that way they know there's controversial crap that we talk about, but it doesn't make it. Oh, man. People are learning about Speaking us. of space and aliens and stuff, uh, the first Flat Earth conference is going to be held in this year in Edmonton. What was, the, what was the one they had last year? Do you remember where it was? I don't know. Apparently, this is apparently the first one. Of the Flat Earth Society, you think they have hosted in an area which is really flat as well? (laughs) Just (laughs) what percentage of people are actually flat earthers? Disturbing about? I don't know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know because I might be disappointed in the number. And depends. If you're a flat earther, then you won't be disappointed. (laughs) But I'm not a flat earther. Do you think like even five percent? I think five percent. No, it would just flat earthers. Probably, but five percent is quite high. I don't want to look at look it up because then it'll just. Right. I think it'd be I'd kind of different. I think if you look at other places in the world, it would be like zero. <laughs> if you That's go to true. America, it's like twenty percent, eighty-nine percent. Holy crap, eighty-nine. Probably. <laughs> Which well, country is this? America. And then eleven percent are just kind of not sure. They're like, yeah, <laughs> it could be flat. You know. Well, I think it's a bit curved, but not a sphere. Like, like yeah, they they go well, outside. I'm like, it looks pretty flat to me, man. In America, everybody thought Hillary was going to win, and turned out we were wrong about that percentage. So yeah, uh, but that's like that's like that's like just playing the dice you know that's like oh is it gonna land on red or black like flat if the earth is flat or not that's not that's not playing for some people might just be playing dice because then it's just uh well these people must okay do you think there'd be people that flew on a plane they did did you see one of these videos have you seen some one guy took a level onto a plane they have a lot of youtube accounts where they (laughs) a level you know the construction yeah 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 i know he's like like, 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 bitch look at this the level's been level the whole time (laughs) (laughs) that was his argument like he was gonna go up he's like yeah if it's flat if it's round then when I'm flying this plane you should see this level fucking just <laughs> cause you know when you fly you're the plane's just going to curve and, yeah, and then he lied and everything but inside that's curve. No, okay I'm not going to well, how can you argue with that <laughs> That he proved it the, the other guy he put up on a post on Twitter I can't remember who but it was like the the caption was the, the cities behind me are 16 miles apart but there, where's the curvature like that was his argument exactly yeah this is like yeah, i don't see the curvature I, i've flown so high now you know and, and the other guy made a homemade rocket how can you argue with such logic it's it's logically sound the other guy made a homemade rocket and launched himself in, launched himself into or tried to launch himself into space or something to see wait did he, well, is I, he is i don't know still if he alive? Was, did he actually i think it? he's still alive but it wasn't successful i think he got like 80 feet into the air alive. or something like that something he just like got up there and like, oh, it's I flat I don't, <laughs> I don't even know how wait, but far if, you got but if you go there. on like a hill or like a tall hill or something you look in the horizon you can kind of see the curvature is that not good enough? I don't know that's if not, that's not good enough or they flat. know the no, but size of the earth the opposite right? the, real, the thing that really ticks me off about flat earthers is that they believe that Mars and all the other planets are round. around. It's only the Earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Only the Earth is flat. I've seen a picture of that. It's yeah. like a diagram showing this if, the solar system, and then Earth is just a sheet of paper. Yeah, if you believe that Earth is flat, and if that was universal, like throughout the whole solar system, that we also believe Mars is flat, Jupiter is flat, everything's flat, then okay, maybe. But you can't <laughs> just... consistent. You, you can't just pick one planet, the one that you live on, and be like, this one's flat, but the rest are... The rest are round, but the rest is round. Flat. No, some people know. The moon is round, the Mars is round, but Earth is flat. (laughs) No, some people, no, there's quite a bit that believe, even Canada, because I have a friend, his boilermaker goes up north to work uh, a a lot of times, right? And then uh, one of his co workers is basically saying, like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, I believe the Earth is flat. And then, you know, he's trying to, he's trying to play with them, and he's like, well, then, if the Earth is flat, you know, like, wh- what happens when you go down to the edge? What happens? And it's like, oh, no. They, 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 and the guy's answer was, uh, oh, no, they won't let you. Who's they? The, the government won't let you go to the edge because they don't want people to find out that the Earth is flat, right? He's like, well, why, why? What would happen if they found out? Well, then people would riot. People would be complete chaos. 
You know, and I'm like, <laughs> and the question was like, well, you fucking know about it. How can, you know, yeah. just, uh, nothing, nothing's been flipped over. It's been fine. So where's exactly. the logic there? No, and the, the, one other uh, arg- or argument for the edge of the world on a flat earth oh, yeah. is that the, the mountains are the edge. The uh, mountains and um, basically like ice and mountains and snow are the edge of the world. And that's why you can't there's, cross. There's so many there's loose ends on this. There's not even that many mountains uh, in the world. There's so many loose ends on this. And like how, how does sunrise and sunset happen? Like if there would be no time zone. They have they have an explanation for that. I, I think know they, they have an I think they made like an infographic on that. But, but, man, if they put this effort into something actually, you know, well, you know helpful to mankind. <laughs> if the earth is flat, then day would be the same everywhere and night would be the same. At the same time, it'd be happening everywhere. Oh, you better be careful. Watch. One of them is going to debunk you one of these days. We should be careful. In, We're kind of outcasting the all decades. the flat earthers that might be listening to <laughs> yes, this. Yes. <laughs> Sorry for all you flat earthers. I'm sure you got a good point. If you ever become the new government, then I will believe the earth is flat. <laughs> Please don't put me in jail. <laughs> no, but uh, if you think about it, there's so many, there's so many just loose ends in all of this. I, I don't know how many... I, that's why I see. That's why I don't want to find out how many flat earthers are out there. I think maybe you should infiltrate a group. I think you should go undercover. <laughs> I don't go want to undercover go as a flat earther. Yeah, yeah. Just go in there. Just, well, just, just do some undercover work. Yeah, be like, hey guys, yeah, everything's flat, man. I, I, I've been a flat earther all my life. Everything's flat. Um, yeah. Just, how, how do I join? You know? Just walk in with a level and be like, I look. <laughs> I found the truth. Yeah, yeah. Like, I've been all around the world. This thing never moved. <laughs> exactly. I used to believe the earth was round. I was on the top of a mountain and this thing never <laughs> moved. The level never moved in all my travels. <laughs> no one of you guys. I don't know, dude. What, know. what what kind of test do you think they would uh, they would try to make you do just to just to make sure you know that wait make sure you're not narking on them. They'll be like, if you go on a plane and you fly straight for how long, where will you reach? Like, um, the edge of the world. And they send guys to your house to make sure you don't have any globes. <laughs> nope, just a flat map. <laughs> just a flat. That's all in one. Like, you see a globe, you're dead, motherfucker. Wasn't there? I don't know if this is real or not. If it was a, just a you know a parody account, but on Twitter, I don't. Um, somebody had uh, tweeted that a flat earther tweeted that. Uh, flat earthers flat earth is the real deal and there's uh so many flat earth earthers believers all around the globe all around the globe yeah so what how he took a census huh? I, no on? no listen to it he said all around oh, all, all around, around the globe <laughs> well a little bit of flat earth be- with that, uh, <laughs> the wording there flat earth believers all around the globe so well to him globe <laughs> is flat right <laughs> globe is 2d to and him. round is just a circle not a sphere <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. There's nothing wrong with that, man. His globe is just completely no, a, pancaked. A, but my globe is a three-dimensional sphere. Well, right? he has the right to express his opinion. <laughs> okay, so is the Earth Earth round though? Like it's a it's, it's like more, a pancake, right? So is it still round or is it? I think square? they have it like I, in, round, like a disc. Yeah. Okay. And how much depth is there to like it? Like either they've been reading way too much Terry Pratchett or something like that. I think they have like a specific. Uh, thickness on how how thick the disc is. They the, do have that too. I can't so, remember. So they don't believe. Do they believe in like magma or the core? They must. I, have that's magma, again. I, I don't know. It must I, be because we still have volcanoes. It'd be kind of ironic, stuff. right? They'll be like petitioning against like uh, drilling this, oil well, companies. I mean, like, don't drill too much, too far, <laughs> man. You, you're you're just gonna go through the other side. <laughs> and they're just gonna get space. Yeah, well, we're, we're done. <laughs> We don't want space coming the out air, of the well. The air goes, gets sucked in through like, the... How bad does it have to be that the guy that believes if you drill all the way to the end and you're just going to reach space, you know, the guy that believes that if you drill all the way to the end, you're going to reach China at the end, that guy is on a higher level than the guy that believes <laughs> the disc is, you know, you're just going to go into straight space. I mean, now those guys can laugh, you know, the guys that, hey, you're going to dig all the way down to China. They can point at those guys and laugh and be like, oh, look at those dumbass. <laughs> It's not going to be space. It's going to be China on the other end. I mean, but yeah, like the the China guy would be much more smart. He is now the uh, <laughs> the philosopher. No, I mean, if you ignore the radioactive core and everything yeah, like that. He is now the cultured man. <laughs> but if everyone else on the world died and they were the only ones left, like flat earthers. Oh, yeah, that's, that's it. That's, yeah, that's, that's the new religion, anything man. Anything anyone will ever know. Yeah. That is, I don't want to see a world like that. <laughs> Don't worry, you won't be there. You're not a flat earther. <laughs> Unless you do infiltrate. How much? Anyway. Okay, say that happens, right? Fucking just. Majority of the world's population dies. 
amazingly, the flat earthers, you know, they have an immune, they have an immunity to this new disease that kills everybody that thinks the world is round. Would you change your beliefs just to survive? Then I think I don't think it'd no. be that hard. No, um, I don't know. I just You'd stick to it. I don't think the world being round, like a globe, would influence too much of my life. I don't think about it on no. a daily basis. At that point, if they come at me with pitchforks and shit, and they're like, "What do you think the, the world looks like?" I'm like, "Fuck, man, it's it's flat, man. <laughs> it's as flat as you want it. It's a pancake. <laughs> it's exactly what you want." It, it kind of reminds me of like this. Uh, I don't remember if it was like a, uh, supposed to be one of those deep poems or whatever, like to give you insight on things. But it's like, man, it's some like mir- a life is a miracle because if the earth was like just 10 feet higher or 10 feet lower, oh, yeah. it'd be either too high or too cold for life to exist. Yeah. I'm like, have you climbed like a hill or something and just died because of the heat? <laughs> <laughs> I think they mean what they mean if it, like the orbit is. But when I think it positioning it still up the orbit fluctuates a little bit. I it does that, fluctuate, yeah. But they had more that, than uh, ten feet. Yeah, no, yeah more they had than that big, feet, Yeah. Whenever they have really huge earthquakes, they always say, "Oh, the Earth kind of tilts. It's tilted away from its axis Exist, by a yeah. certain degree or something like that." Yeah. It's all you know, like ten feet up, down. <laughs> no, I know, but it's not, it's not like the world will be covered in magma from that. You jump from a high point and you just die. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say about flat earthers. I know what to say. I'll say the earth is flat if it means my survival. <laughs> if it means your I'd be survival. perfectly fine with that. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, like raise a family. Yes, kids. Put on land. Yeah, earth is flat. Fuck. Everything's, Everything's flat. flat. Yeah, yeah. How long have we been talking about flat earthers? It's long enough <laughs> that we are starting to you, believe you, it. You got oh the my time. God. You got the time. I Andy. do. I think it's too long. <laughs> All right. All right. Moving on. All right. I had got? nothing. So yeah, nothing. <laughs> actually, no. There was one thing that it was just recent news. Um, I don't know if either of you watched any of the Google uh, I/O thing. It's oh yeah, 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 Announcing yeah. new yeah, stuff. Just... No, I didn't. there was a, may, they they announced like a ton of stuff that they're coming out with and everything. Most of it is minor stuff that you know developers or something might care about, but most people wouldn't. But the one big thing that they announced was um, Google Duplex, is what it's called. Okay. And it's basically the Google Assistant, like on your phone and everything. Yeah. Uh, you know, you go like, hey, Google or whatever, and it asks you a question. Basically, they're vamping that up. Mm-hmm. And now you could actually ask it to even make phone calls for you. Oh, okay. No, not just like dialing it for you, but it'll actually talk. Oh, you. it'll talk to the person for yeah. you. It'll be like, if you just tell Google to be like, hey, uh, make an appointment to the, the one they gave was a hair salon. Okay. From like this time or whatever. And then, yeah, it calls it up. They gave the demo, mm-hmm. and it sounds like a real person. The person on the other end couldn't tell it was a robot they or whatever. They didn't know. Okay. And, yeah. yeah, it actually booked the appointment, as far as I know of. I mean, it could have been staged, but... Yeah, but, I mean, they just have to show but that. But it makes, like, it talks like how a regular human would not like, um, uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good time. Yeah, yeah, let me yeah. check, yeah. It's not like, hello, I am booking an appointment for my client. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so... Um, there was a lot of controversy about that. Yeah, I don't know. Before we go into that, how what what, make, what do you think about that? I think it's Good interesting. I I don't think. I mean, there's controversy with everything new that comes out. This, if you use it for good, then it's fine. But people will definitely find ways to, you know, use it for. Yeah, man. If you things. use this new thing to call hookers, I don't think you'll be legally liable because it'll be <laughs> a, the Google Assistant calling. Here. <laughs> I find it because I'm like such an introverted person. I find it to be something amazing. Yeah, that and I didn't see downsides to it really. Like at this point, well, you'll but never then, have to interact with another human again. Yeah, that's no, your that'd dream. be great. That's oh, your that's, dream. Yeah, there's big controversy with this uh, Google Duplex thing. You know, a lot of people find it scary because it's basically like passing the Turing ke- or p- humans are failing the Turing test because they can't tell the difference between human or not mm-hmm. just over the phone. I don't get what the big problem is. But I mean, if we have driverless cars and stuff, we're doing that. So, I mean, I think there's it, liability issues with that as well. Well, it's well. already um, been brought up. And I think it's actually official now that they're going to have to, when they do implement it, they're actually going to have to make it state that is that it is an AI or whatever. Yeah, before. So nobody's tricked into thinking they're 
talking with an actual human. Right? I don't know what the big issue is with even just talking to a f- AI or we're know, already robot. talking to artificial. Everybody's talking to yeah, Siri. So and I don't know what the issue is. Bixby and all that stuff. What, so what's what the, the issue with uh, like okay, you're working at a restaurant. You take a reservation. You talk to it on the phone. What difference does it make if it's for a human or a robot? It's if like people show up, bamboozled, <laughs> bamboozled into making a reservation. So for... you can still bamboozle people by an actual person. I can yeah. call up a restaurant and make a reservation and then not show up. It's I can still through the same phone number. I, and everything. I could <laughs> book the whole restaurant and then not show up. I think that was the controversy, right? Like they, the people that are worried about this, their worry is, I don't know if I'm talking to a human or a robot anymore, right? I don't think it matters in this case. Does it play deeper than that? Do they think that, you know, like, oh, now we're playing God because we're creating these things that are talking? I could see it an issue further down the line, but not so much a Google issue as much as a like, telemarketing or something. They might just have auto dialers like that, that, you know, well, you think co- you're talking to a person. You already have auto dialers. Compared to yeah. all the other. But they'll be more believable as a human. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But and you could get human telemarketers that oh, call yeah, you. Too. Definitely. But at least for them, it's, you know, they could dial on mass from that they don't need humans to actually dial one number at a time so you want they could just have one machine dialing like hundreds of numbers at a time maybe it'll just be a little bit more believable now because yeah. you get that's, that call well that's the issue i see but I, I that's not really a google thing that i would pin it on that, them that's not a google thing that's that's an issue regardless of whether we have that or not people that's still just people still do scam calls yeah that's even just without that technology so. evolves yes yeah. You know the problems we'll have to face. I think people are scared of this. I think if you just try to put yourself in the in the shoes of one of these guys that are complaining, I, I don't know. I think I think they just think uh, it's scary to them. I, that's it. But see, on the on the technological stage of where we're having people developing freaking sex robots and stuff like that <laughs> how is this an issue well right. they would this, those same people would probably have an issue with sex robots though i believe Fut- they'd be Futurama in the same that yeah remember the futurama one where they had sex bots yeah they made yeah. the lucy lou bot <laughs> <laughs> and they had the educational film that's like actually on film, <laughs> on film yeah. Yeah. yeah that was good futurama like simpsons and futurama covered everything in humanity really no but that's what i mean like if those kind of things are a go People are testing and developing that kind of stuff. So what's wrong with this? We don't see anything wrong with it because all three of us are very pro-sex robot. Yeah, you know? I wouldn't. I don't know. Uh, this is, this, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Oh, you're, I, you're I think faltering that's on the sex weird. robot now. I think that's you want me to do weird. the hand gesture again? <laughs> no, no. I, I think this is sex robot thing is kind of weird. Oh, it's man. just like masturbation, but better. So yeah. You know, instead of getting a fleshlight, you, you know, you get a Just person. Get a flesh person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A flesh bot. That's you already have, bot. you already have like a, a what is it? It's, it's a sex doll, you know, it's basically yeah. made, to, it's like made out of silicone or something. Or, yeah. That was just the blow up thing. Like, no, no, no. They got, they well, got I, ones I, I that really. I didn't mean really, to veer into the sex robot. I just brought that up as they an got, example. They got ones yeah. that really more, you know, like solid looking now. Okay. And like they got kind of, I never got the appeal of like, a blow up doll because that always just seems so... <laughs> it's like fucking a balloon. This is not where I was... I don't think it'd be a balloon, right? What? It'd be a really know. sturdy balloon. I was thinking like one of those inflatable raft type materials so it's like rough and... Well, so you, so you can chafe yourself? Something yeah, that's with, what I thought. Something so it's inflated like it'd be by terrible. Air. No, no, these new ones are not inflated by... Well, not new ones, but the, the high-end ones on the market, they're not inflatable ones they're just they're made out of uh you know like silicone or whatever they literally look like an android from like you can change you can change the the head so they got like templates for like a white woman asian woman you know are you talking about an actual head yeah no the the, the head on the sex doll oh okay okay yeah you can change the head on that i don't know It'll be kind of oh. tough if the the body's like a white girl, and then like you know, like you have to. Oh, I want the black girl head. <laughs> this it's is like not. A I, I dropped that in as an example when discussing the voice stuff. I oh, yeah. need to take. An, Don't. I felt like we needed to take. You exactly. used a very interesting point. <laughs> but no, no. Like, think about that way. See, if you're saying, "Oh, I kind of feel weird about you know, like sex robots," you know, you're more. You can probably make that jump and see it from their side of things where they're like i don't want to have a robot that sounds like a woman oh not a woman sorry <laughs> i don't want to have a robot that sounds like a person a like man, a person woman, okay whatever yeah no i mean well, i can mean, like, see it of course there's going to be people that are going to have an issue with this but i'm what i'm saying is i personally don't have an issue with this voice uh you know 
Google duplex oh, yeah. thing. But you know, you can see, yeah, you, you can say, oh, I think sex robots are weird. They probably think this thing is weird. You know, while wow, they're it hoping they're sex robot, it hits a nerve somewhere. I don't get the issue with a sex robot. Oh no, 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 I'm with you on this. It makes me dream. Okay, <laughs> I hope I live long enough for this day. No, yes, yes. And then, <laughs> well, this day's the, around the corner. If you really want to wait that long, just hang on for like six more months. Well, yeah, oh, but God, it's gonna cost like five months. grand or something when the first one comes. Six out. grand. He Jesus. wants to be able to buy it at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> when it's at Walmart, <laughs> it won't be long. I mean, if Trump still runs America, then it'll be at Walmart pretty He's soon. He's very too. pro sex robot. Exactly. I mean, then he won't have any of those uh, Stormy Daniels issues. I thought he was going to you know, make one. I, I'm not gonna, I don't really want to make this joke. Make He's going to make one of his daughter. And, oh, yeah. would you buy an Ivanka? Yeah, no, hell no. <laughs> hell no. If it was given to me, I'd use it. You, they, would, they would have people that mod it. You know, they, they would modify it. <laughs> like a change to the, the, the Trumps to me are like the <laughs> yeah. Kardashians just in politics. I wouldn't, I don't try to, I don't try to follow up. Your it, face when the Kardashians becomes the next family in okay. politics. It, could, it is possible now. <laughs> Kanye if, becomes if, president. If Trump can do it, why can't Kanye or <laughs> oh, Kim or God, something? Oh dear God, if he does. I don't. I don't know much about his political stances, really, it's, or him in general. But he is a douche, as far as I'm. It's concerned. probably oh, the yeah. same as a guy that just fucking. Is that that guy, that homeless guy on the side corner that rants about like fucking the government and conspiracies and JFK? That's that's Kanye's political stance. Okay, now he's got my vote. <laughs> <laughs> Can't vote anyways, man. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. I'm convicted felon. Yeah, yeah that yeah. whole deal. If Oops. Jason was a convicted felon, what do you think he he was guilty of? Embezzlement. Say embezzlement. Embezzlement? <laughs> <laughs> I only wish it was embezzlement. Mm. I'd be like, uh, it'd probably be like tax evasion. Tax. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you yes. look like a guy that evades your taxes. I look like a guy that doesn't know how to do his taxes. <laughs> tax evasion <laughs> or like, um, yeah, some kind of financial fraud. Because yeah. I don't have money. Now, I, w- I wonder if anybody's listening to this, I wonder what kind of picture is going on in their head on how he looked like. Big buff he dude. Looks like dude and just... To them, he looks like Leonardo DiCaprio from Wolf of Wall Street, probably. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want that kind of hair, though. The Very cool. Leo. Well, he's like slick back kind of look to it. I can't do it because my hair is too thick and it can't do that. It looks stupid. You can find a way. It's a nice hair style, but I can't do it because... <laughs> don't have hair <laughs> well you can always dream for the record for people that don't know him he actually does have hair it's just not in the style where he could slick it back like that well i kind of wanted to avoid describing our physical appearances just in case Why? one day the mob comes after <laughs> this angry mob comes um, after us. zinzin's Look, about seven a, foot two angry with, uh, mob of flat earthers yeah 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 tattoos helps. covering his arms and his face yeah yeah i i, I look like elmer fudd but <laughs> maybe a little shorter <laughs> yeah he's got the bulbous nose bald yeah, head taller, and, uh, yeah. he wears the hunter outfit I don't want <laughs> all the time <laughs> Oh man! All right, let's 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 go back to back on track to Google. Did we Duplex? have a track? No, uh, I have some sort of a track. Okay, let's head on to your track. All right, all right. So you know, like Google is that company. Their motto was like "Do no evil" or some shit like that, right? Was it? I actually don't remember. Which, Which company? Google. Google. They have a motto. They're like "Do no evil." That's that's like, their motto. I think that's one of their, if not the official motto, motto Sorry. that was one of their mottos. I. I'd be fine with it. I mean, I know they're evil, but they know everything about me. I'm, ju- I'm already on board with everything. Of so theirs, Ford so. is like built tough and Google's like, do no evil? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, you know, like KFC's finger looking good, yeah. you know, right? And this is do no evil. Okay. Anyways. I didn't um, know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. A bunch of them just are right now they're like resigning in protest because I think Google uh just started working with the pentagon or something and then you know everybody's like no i don't want to do that i don't think google should work in the uh i don't think so either but it's just because they have such like google maps is every they mapped out everything basically and they got so much they're pretty far in technology so my is it gonna be like drone type technology depends what i guess is my well my whole thing about that is yeah google is already in it whether whether indirectly or not, there are a lot of their stuff. All that shit. Yeah. A lot of their stuff is open source. So yeah, the military could, or like government could take it. If they yeah, wanted regardless to. or not, if they did have a contract with the Pentagon, I'm pretty sure someone's used Google to kill but someone. I, mean, I guess the issue would be if Google actually has official contracts with the government to say develop 
whatever stuff, then it might be a concern. Uh, so what the specific thing they're talking about is basically Google is going to help the Pentagon develop some kind of software that helps uh, that that searches, you know, that searches drone imagery. So mm -hmm. like videos or whatever taken from drones. And that determines whether it's, you know, like if it's something that they should go after or there's something they should hit. Would this also include facial recognition? I think something like that. Like, I think they're trying to develop it where um, I guess the AI can read the video feed and tell you if it's something that they need to fire at or something that they should. So it's like a big brother kind of thing. So the the plot of winter soldier basically it wouldn't that... be big brother itself it might not even be the plot of winter soldier it'll just be basically i don't know it's like if a drone gets sent on a mission right you're not gonna have a drone flying around like usa or canada like popping off people yeah. anytime soon well, hopefully ideally that's not ideally that's too. <laughs> watch that's like the new way of uh traffic stops <laughs> makes it but i'd be i'd be thinking that they'd use it along the lines of trying to find a specific target or something something like that, that, that yeah. that's more in line with what they want to do but, but as things you know grow and everything and they're gonna bring it to like surveillance for the states and stuff yeah. well it's already here yeah. isn't it? i'm like well for like trains actively just looking for any crime well i'm betting you they have something like that in the uk they're probably oh, okay uk if they have like cameras and stuff yeah. on some streets and stuff. yeah that's what i know about oh, yeah. but, i think it's like per um, capita they are, they're one of the top ones there i think they have more camera density than china does i, I don't, don't quote me on that but i would think that it's a different story if it's like drones with facial recognition it's, type software yeah if it's if it's just cameras then it's just you know cameras with footage getting stored in a warehouse or whatever the, facility and it's people people will eventually look at it if something happens oh no no i think uh their big deal is uh this might turn that you know like people the people looking at the you know basically supervising and pulling the trigger their big uh gripe with, with this would be that killing would just be automated i think the ai would figure out if it would need to kill yeah. something or not so would it have like a turret too well on a drone if it's an autonomous drone, it has missiles and shit, right? Yeah. So it would just fire the missiles at the target. So that's the worry, basically, that it, it instead of just reporting, it'll start... Well, know. with Google itself, I think the employees, they just don't want to be associated with something like that. Yeah, no. Cause yeah, they no, I should, can see where they're coming from. Because you just look like another arm of the military well if, but then again you know like the stuff they have out there already you, you know like you you have you can use it to uh do do nasty shit no of course but um, yeah i think that's the big slippery slope that a lot of people don't like it's like oh instead of people killing people now you got machines that are gonna kill people the ai gets yeah. to decide what what if well, it needs to die or not that's the thing too because you know how um ai driven cars and everything oh, yeah. like Auto, auto, autonomous cars that's been coming out lately you know they've been making strides and everything but i think i read fairly recently i don't have it up here but um there's been accidents already yeah. with at least one that one I where it's some yeah lady. the car actually just ran over some old lady or something yeah and it was probably just like a fault in the system itself it either didn't recognize her as a person or i forgot what the other thing they, it could have been was but it's there's it's, there's still bugginess with this technology oh there's a lot not just them running over people but even like uh the guy inside the car just you know the car doesn't break it doesn't sense anything in front so it just crashes head on and yeah. kills the kills the uh passengers Passenger. in the car but that's not like you know like the car the google actively trying to kill the guy right? well yeah it's not actively but no. i mean like if they have drones or something that they just come out with to you know try to Put a limit on crime essentially if it has like a bug like this where it's like very minor it might happen like one in a million it's still gonna happen one in a million this is every day we're inching closer to the terminator yeah basically that's what that's what it looks like like that's <laughs> not what, what it looks like that's what is happening yeah we're worried that if, we're gonna build skynet yes of course except it might be called <laughs> Google. Google. <laughs> Dude, no, Actually, I don't know. Which one do you... Okay, is Google the one that you would think that would be the Skynet? Or would it be something else like maybe Apple or something? You know, China's surveillance system is already called Skynet. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Already <laughs> called Skynet? Yeah, yeah. In, in, the English translation is Skynet. Oh, 
Oh, the English translation. I think okay. in Chinese, I forget in Chinese it was like Tianwan, so that translates directly to Skynet. I don't know if they did it ironically. <laughs> <laughs> they never saw Terminator. Yeah, they're, they're like, oh man, that's okay. Um, <laughs> it's a bit too late to change it now. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll roll with it. <laughs> Let's they start just... developing a robotic hand and everything. <laughs> Get some guy make robots in the bust of Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is all coincidence. <laughs> no, but that that is a somewhat of a concern, I guess. I mean, that we're all just headed towards a AI run future. Oh yeah, but that's where it. Now it's almost like a natural evolution, you know. Like if you were gonna guess, what does future warfare look like? I bet you it's gonna look automated, like robots. Robots yeah. fighting for from us. the countries course, that yeah. can build it. Yeah, it's robots. Cause like, think about it. What what stops America from just fucking going into a place like Iran? What what really stops them? It's just it's just they don't wanna. It look really bad on the news when you bring yeah. body bags back. Yeah, it won't look bad on the news if you just bring heaps of metal back, right? Or just leaving it there. What if it doesn't? Yeah, exactly. Just fucking just send robots, and no one the robots got no moms, they got no dads. Yeah, no one's gonna grieve for robots. Yeah. I think that's the way it's heading too. But uh, it's just what company will become the one that basically controls everything? Google, do no evil. Is it Google though? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It'll be it'll but be Apple's defense Apple's company. Apple's worth more than Google, I think. No, no, it, it will. It'll be a defense company. It won't be like fucking Zuckerberg doing this. It'll be like Lockheed Martin or like Raytheon, one of those defense companies that does this. You know, they're like, oh, do no evil. What the fuck is that? That's a pussy slogan. Yeah. Well, I'm just thinking because you know uh, Google and Apple, they have everyday products. You know that tons of people have, like just the layman. You know, everyone yeah. has their products. That they have the potential to do more damage in a sense. Oh, they do. I bet you if Google really wanted to wreck someone, they could just do it. They know oh, yeah. so much information about you. Dude, if they store all your Google searches, then someone could just be screwed just yeah. from that alone. Yeah. And then, like the, the CEO of Google, one of the guys just walks up to you and like, hey, you know what? Fucking give me your drink. <laughs> <laughs> give me your drink. That's all. Okay, fine. That's fine. He just, he just has it. a little bit of a power trip. You know, he goes, like, <laughs> Do you know who the fuck I am? He's like in a line at like subways. <laughs> you know, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Pichai. You, you can go up to the head. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, like, cold cut, please. Twelve inch. <laughs> he still has to pay for it too. <laughs> he still has to pay for it. Why would he get the subway cold cut too? That's terrible. <laughs> It's actually what I get at Subway, but I hate Subway. He, so. just, he just does it just for the feel of that power. No, I, I don't know. I, it could be a con- conglomerate, probably, of all of them. Like, in the future, it could be Google, Apple, everything mixed together. They just team up. Yeah. They team up to rule the world. Who I, would wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. Everyone's I mean, if, phone if, turns if on we're going world. to a Skynet-like future, then maybe... You're gonna have to. Each country would have to start blocking all these uh, U.S. sites and coming out with their own ones. You know that would suck though, because they basically control the internet, and then we'd have nothing. They control, yeah. The majority of the internet it goes through. Yeah, the United States controls a lot of that shit. We'd be so screwed. That's, so, <laughs> that's where Zinzin's backup porn comes into play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> all right. All right. Nothing. I, I Cut this out. <laughs> I won't ask. <laughs> I mean, my backup porn. No, nah, everybody's backup porn would be screwed. There wouldn't even be backup porn at that point. Hey, if you have a freaking sex robot, then you don't need backup porn. Oh, yeah, of course you need backup porn. The robot has to go for maintenance. What are you going to do? Then have like a two closet. Sex <laughs> closet. <laughs> have two and alternate. Just them. have a brothel in your basement of sex robots. You could do that with the money, you know? If you had the money. Yeah, you have the money. It'd probably be better because if you think about it, you're some really rich mogul out there, and if you want to have like a whole harem of mistresses, get a bunch of robots. They're not gonna go and fuck you over. They don't have aims for your money. You know, they don't have. You know, they're not gonna. They're, they're not gonna win a divorce against you or whatever, right? The, These robots, they are. They're the only they're yours. S- the only STDs Unless, they can give you are the ones you already have. So. You, you ro- yeah, some machine <laughs> STD. <laughs> what if they? The government and everything, they, they reach a level of sentient, sentience and AI is developed, you oh, know, yeah. so they're actually at the least human level and they start getting rights. That would be fun. Then, I can imagine that. I literally can imagine that. Robot then, rights. Then it's yes. Futurama, dude. Then it's Futurama. The robots have rights. We'd have to be more screwed, though, I think, yeah. in the real world. In well, the real world, yeah. That's- that's basically the Matrix uh, background <laughs> We're going to go back into that. Yeah, <laughs> that's stupid. 
No, I, I don't know if we'd go with that It's far. a mix of all of them and Terminator, really. I mean, if we get to the point where we actually consider giving robots rights, that means we've already lost. No, know. it's yeah, yeah no, that, that becomes the, a circus. We'll, we'll be servants at that or, point anyway. So. Or in the future, when the robots have rights and they listen to this, they'll be like, oh my god, these bigoted motherfuckers back then. What? I I'm love th- robots. <laughs> 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 you're such, you're such, you're so such a weak little cop out, <laughs> man. Robots aren't, they're not even real. <laughs> you're starting to backtrack. Oh, if ever flat this. earthers ever take good I'm control. just flattering uh, the listeners. I'm yeah. trying to get that loyalty. I'm Jason. I, I want to be on the good graces of everybody. <laughs> everybody on the planet. Yeah. If right, Jason? Rule, then, yeah, I mean. Well, it's more likely the robots will rule before the flat earthers come to power. That's more likely, yes. Right? But you don't have to, So you can pander towards the robots. That, that's what if we get be. robot flat earthers? Then is, <laughs> is, it, is it actually the truth? I think that, that would be Earth almost is the, impossible. <laughs> is the real deal? I think because robots, they got to deal with logic all the time. Yeah, all the code. Yeah, it, would just, it just explode. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. So what happens to currency if... Uh, as technology develops and say robots are becoming more of a big thing because I don't think robots would have as much of an issue of like buying and selling goods right oh fuck yeah oh. that yeah. would just cause the economy to like collapse no, no, well, what, what they have what some countries will have to do in the future if um, if we do go for like mass automation mass robots is like you're gonna probably have you might have to give everybody some kind of stipend just to survive on a robot allowance well, no, no, not robot allowance, but like people that live and breathing people that still need yeah. to eat and stuff and still need, you know, like material needs. Someone's going to have to step up or, you know, they'll riot. But I guess you could just put everyone down with robots. So I don't know. Like that's how, that's why they're all talking about uh, the universal basic income, right? They're all saying, yeah. oh, eventually we might have to go to this, right? Well, well, eventually that, that is a a true concern eventually you'll have to do that even with or without robots well there's a lot of people that don't even believe in that shit i know there was a lot of people that are like you know capitalism forever capitalism now capitalism until i die yeah, exactly but a 110 percent capitalism can't work either right so i mean well i mean it's with robots doesn't work right <laughs> robot wall street unless you got all the robots coming out like bender from Futurama. That's what I'm where saying. Where they just Futurama again. do more harm than good. Yeah, well, fucking, he enjoys, he has his vices, he gets girls, he gets cigars, you know, he has material needs. You can still be capitalist there. I guess if they, again, I mean, if we, if they get to the point where we're giving robots rights, then of course they're going to have needs too, then, so. What kind of need robots? Well, just like you said, Bender with the, the booze and the. Yeah, I guess for that, in Futurama sense, yeah, the robots actually needed booze or some sort of like fuel. To to keep functioning. but even well, then it's like we're, we're still screwed at that point, they're yeah. not gonna need food so it's we'd be screwed for that i'm pretty sure that this auto whole big automation thing's gonna kick in before robots reach sentience sentience you know will yeah. we singularity that will we still be alive when that happens i hope so <laughs> we personally or humanity what are you talking about? Personally. Like, oh, okay. If any of us would experience that. Oh, I, the, I don't personally expect to live that long, but are the rest the of The automation part. The yeah, automation, automation part, you're going you're gonna to experience that. Automation's down. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, but like actual... Um, Sentience, I yeah. don't think so. Sentience no. uh, could be... No, you're not going to see... Millennium, yeah, who knows? I don't know. That's a bit of a shame. It, that's, that's way off. But you could preserve your head. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. you know, Futurama. Futurama. <laughs> we just keep coming Richard back to Nixon Futurama. style. Because that's really the profit oh. show. <laughs> it, is. it is. Oh my it god, is. they're so deep. They've, they're like, we're just centered around it. We don't even know it, but this is a Futurama podcast. No, no. I would want to yeah. be hedonism bot. If I <laughs> yeah. How does he get that much power? Ground man. <laughs> the chocolate icing. <laughs> and no one can see this, but he's smearing chocolate on I'm his doing power. it as I speak. <laughs> Uh, no, he's not. That'd be <laughs> disgusting. I would not be in the room if that was happening. Yeah, Jason's licking his lips in anticipation. No, I'm actually I'm really thirsty, though. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to talk about? I got tons, but what do you guys got? I got nothing. I talked about the one item I wrote down. No. Um, yeah. Well, if, you, if we're going to keep going, going about this, uh, uh, the automation stuff, that's, you know, like, I say that's where we're going because um, right now, you think about it. How does everything work, right? We go to work, we get money, we use that money to buy shit for our, ourselves to consume, right? Um, 
what happens uh, after you get robots to replace a lot of these, you know, like more of the labor intensive jobs. You know, all of a sudden these guys, whole but whole swath of the population that back then they can only do factory jobs or whatnot, they can't work anymore, right? Yeah, you know, robots working. Robots don't need to eat. Robots well, that's don't need the, to do anything. That's one of the issues these with Amazon do. lately, right? Because uh, the Amazon, the people that worked in the Amazon warehouses, they were apparently like in terrible conditions because they had they had like no times for breaks or mm-hmm. anything. They had to like work through lunches just because they had to keep up with you know. The amount of business Amazon gets, plus the you know a lot of the robots are you doing the job now, yeah. so they they have to try to keep up with that in order to you know basically keep their job. Oh yeah, and you think about it, you know, like think about when Amazon had a warehouse full of people working. Think about now, you know, like they slimmed it down because they, they've automated some of that <clears throat> shit. But the people that are working at the warehouses, their pay didn't go up proportionally to you know? the amount of people that are away. Right? They barely got a. They barely got a any of the pie from that. So. Eventually, you think about it, you know, fuck, it's all robots, no guys working, and then what are you going to do? You got to take care of these guys somehow. Yeah. Like but it, all the you, manual labor stuff is going to be All the manual over. labor, trade, everything will be gone then. Like, yeah, you, you might not be able to even tax people anymore. You know what I mean? Like, well, because they won't even have... Because they won't have money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then if you're going to give them an income, you know, like, you, you, what are you going to do, tax that income after... I mean, and even if you do give an income, it's just going to be meager, like just basically because you'll be, they'll have to give it to everybody. So it'll be like just enough for like food and clothing and shelter. It's yeah. not like it's going to be expendable income where they can, you know, you know, keep the economy going by going to the movies and buying, you know, the latest iPhone and stuff like that. <laughs> Whatever yeah. iPhone eighty nine or whatever is out. By well, those those guys at the you know like the basic level of society, yeah, it's gonna be rough life for them. Yeah, it's just gonna be. Well, you're hoping that when you do have like fucking full automation, that you produce enough that you could give, I guess, these people at least some some sort of abundance of living. You know, mm-hmm. like there's enough to go. There's so much enough to go around. Because by that time, if you have robots producing everything, you're hoping that you produce so much shit. You can produce so much shit that you could give these people like, hey, you know, you have enough money to still own a place to live, maybe a car, I don't know, maybe you know, like some leisure shit. You know, you but that, enough to but do that's all that. getting, I, I don't know, I think very optimistic. That is very optimistic. Yeah, yeah I think the most optimistic <laughs> thing is that is the most optimistic. Most, most optimistic. <laughs> like you robots do all the work. People can just you know live a life of leisure. Oh, yeah. that, go that, travel the world wherever you want yeah, and just that, that not worry be, about it. That would be. Uh, a that utopia, would be the most optimistic. Basically. But like realistically, what are you gonna do about this? These people that can't work at all. You're gonna have a whole shitload of them. Yeah. Imagine you know, and they said uh, even like truck drivers. They that's like a whole chunk. Gone. Yeah, that's a because lot of work. They're working a lot on, of people. They're already working on automated trucks and yeah. stuff, yep. semis and oh, stuff yeah. like that, like just so that you know you, they don't need drivers for the long haul. Yeah, and, exactly. And what what are they going to do? You you think the most of them can become like programmers just on a dime after that? Yeah, just you know, they're, most of them would be probably done at that point. You know, like what else? What else? What else are they going to do? Well, even stuff where you needed a degree before. Those jobs are already quickly becoming them. automated. Too. Oh, yeah. And it's going to push even like education is going to get even more in demand. And re- universities are going to start charging even more because there won't be that option of just, you know, working with your hands or not going to getting, a you know, uh, a university education or something. You, get, you know, yeah, the that's... only option everybody will have it to if you want a job or if you want something would be having at least college or university you oh, can there'd be yeah. so much then, gone and then well it's like it's around grad season right now for a bunch of universities and stuff and you know some universities they let you decorate the uh, grad cap yeah and i've seen so many posted on like reddit and stuff of people just saying like oh yeah i got this degree and it only costs like whatever hundreds of thousands of dollars <laughs> and that's like, at oh, this point this. that's yeah. at this point so if you know if education becomes even more in demand in the future because you know nobody can even consider trades or anything like that mm. because they have to if they want a, f- a job if they want money then they're gonna have to do something i saw this one uh, comic uh strip where it's a guy graduating and you know you take your graduate the, the hat that you wear for graduation you throw yeah. it up in the air right at the end of the uh the speech from whoever it is like the valedictorian or yeah so the comic is 
Guy takes the hat, throws up in the air, and then the hat that comes down is like a McDonald's cap. <laughs> <laughs> And they won't even have that anymore. They won't even, <laughs> McDonald's will be automated. It's already automated. Yeah, you you just wish, go in, you go yeah, in and order yourself. Are, yeah. yeah, you'd the, wish you to have employment. If you, if you wait at the counter these days at McDonald's, they'd look at you like you're stupid or something. They usually like, don't even have a person at the they counter. If they just happen to see you, see, they'll just, whoever is there, they're like, okay. They're like the drive through yeah. and stuff. You know? Yeah. I went to McDonald's yesterday just to get a drink. For dinner, because right. it's I guess they already have the dollar. Uh, it's a dollar things. days are out. Yeah. So and I had nothing to drink at home because my fridge is empty. Jesus, you don't have like <laughs> I drank all my water too. So I was like, um, either I you know filter one and then drink it, or I could just go to McDonald's. I was already out anyways, and just grab a large Sprite. How do you live like this? How come your life always sounds like you're on subsistence living? <laughs> oh man, you have no idea how bad it is. I hope you get the universal basic income. I in the really future. hope I do. I hope, the I hope everybody is. gets it. If, this, if that's the way it's going, then. well, if they have to prioritize people, you know, I mean, I I got holes in my shirt actually. But yeah, you know, I well, thought I sewed it up too. But in it's... the robot era, you'd still be wearing shirts with holes in them. <laughs> exactly. Can a robot sew up a shirt? Like oh yeah, this? way better than Probably. anything that you can do. Actually, they, I saw the uh, when those futurology things. It's like um, a surgeon tool, basically, but yeah. it's like automated. It's basically a robot with tiny tools to actually make tiny stitches. They did it on a test of a grape. They just cut the skin on a grape, and yeah. it just showed it sewing it back up. Oh, yeah. And it looked actually super intense. Well, oh, then, yeah. if that's the case, then fuck university either, because you won't need doctors or anything. Well, you still probably need the surgeon just to, like, you know, step back and but make sure one, everything's going <laughs> one, on. There. One for a whole hospital, probably, or two. You won't need a whole teams of surgeons and physicians and then if that's the i case. think one of the big pluses of it because it's like a small thing because it fits in like a tube or yeah. whatever is like if you have to do stitches to anything internal that you put it in there and just make it stitch on like whatever i don't know oh, shit. organs there's and like, stuff this is like some if uh, your kidneys ruptured or something yeah like something like that i don't know the details of it because i do not know much about biology at all but yes let's go with that <laughs> no but that um then then everything then Basically, fucking education, fuck trades, fuck everything is just going to be all automated. Wait, before we get too deep into that, to any kids listening to this podcast, first off, thanks, but uh, don't drop out of school or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're not exactly. responsible for your fuck up <laughs> if you do decide to fuck up. Yeah, exactly. Stick, stick to school. It, it'll help. Learn something. Learn, Learn being a comedian. <laughs> At school. Watch the robot does comedian comedy better. <laughs> yeah. I've searched all the jokes on the internet or on the world, and here the, here's the oh, man, funniest one. Save right now. all the jokes. It could be one mastermind robot comedian that has all the jokes. It's, yeah, it just writes it writes infinite loop code of just jokes coming. He out. will be the last. But what would it be? What would it be for? It like, would it make humans laugh or other robots laugh? <laughs> 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 like, what would be the point? binary jokes are the best. <laughs> <laughs> there's only one binary joke I know. It's like there's a. Uh, um, one zero types of people in the world. One of the type that gets this joke and the type that doesn't. Oh, yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, the robots, I never said it was good. The robots but... are gonna have to start from a very low base. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying they could steal like all the current comedians' jokes, and then they'll get that late night um, hosting job, and I'll be it because he can't die. It's Conan O'Brien. It's a robot Conan, but with the same hair. But everything. Oh no! Else. It would suck. <laughs> Conan's like lined up for the job at tonight show, and then the robot overtakes him for the job after a few months. He's funnier just than Just watch you, it be a Jay Leno robot. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Damn you, Jay Leno. <laughs> Jay Leno loves cars, so maybe he made the robot. I don't know. The robot would be a car. <laughs> Just transform. Transformers. Transformers. Oh, Transformers. That'd be so cool. They well, would. Would you no actually? Would you want a transforming car? Because you can't really. Do no, anything. I'd be so afraid if I'm still stuck in the car while <laughs> it transforms. It transforms. Unless it's transform. a caring transformer like Bumblebee who holds you in your hand. He takes it out transform. first. Well, even the. He, uh, yeah, but you still got flung out. So what if he like misses? Yeah. And what if Bumblebee forgets one day? He has an off day, or you know, he's like, he just feels like shit. Transforms, oh, like crushed in the gears, <laughs> right underneath. Yeah. Whoops, sorry. That's a possibility. No, fuck the transformers. If... <laughs> okay, I like fuck the, the toys. <laughs> fuck the transformers. The f- I mean, after the last movie, I you would know, say yeah, fuck the transformers. You know, if you really think about it, the Decepticons. There was that one hot transformer chicken. It's not, the, it's not made that was in the second one or yeah yeah the, yeah but uh, no, Shia mean, LaBeouf is in like college or whatever and there's this hot chick that's like hitting on him and then 
as they're like making out or something you find out she's a robot oh that, that one that? yeah that's yeah. the oh. second one i think that's the second movie i think so. second or third one of those yeah I, it's good that you found out earlier. If he already stuck it in, she just starts grinding and shit. No, yeah, then, he, then, he, he, then he'd be the first one to experience a sex robot. Then. I don't want that kind of sex robot. Just, <laughs> I want a fleshy one. Yeah, no, no, like like an actual. But that's a true robot, so that would be the proper. I don't think you know what I mean when I say no, sex I, robot. I know what you mean when you say sex robot. Assassin like robot. I don't want to do it with that. <laughs> just sticking your dick in a blender. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Do not need that mental image. What were we talking before when we went on that tangent? Oh, I was about to say, the Septicons, uh, they really shit the bed because uh, if you think about it, they're all like big military vehicles, right? They're like tanks and aircraft, and they lost to a bunch of fucking cars. <laughs> yeah. Soundwave was like a... He's a tank of Soundwave. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. She's probably the worst one. Yeah, she had a... Uh, there was a mini... Transformer that was a cassette tape. Yeah, it was a dog. It was a, a Ravage, I think. I don't remember. He was a, he was a dog, basically. <laughs> he was already a dog. <laughs> he needs to transform into a tape well, cassette. Um, Ultimus Prime was a fire truck, so you know that's cool. Well, he was a he was, he was a, a long haul truck. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm talking about. No, that's you're talking one. about. Uh, What's the fire truck was a, a Sentinel Prime. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't remember I anyone. No or sent in the in the. No, I'm talking, yeah, like, it was, like, an old cartoon or something. Oh, in the cartoon. Oh, Megatron is also kind of e- e- equally useless. He just transforms into a gun, but he can't fire. <laughs> he needs someone else to hold on to. <laughs> he probably fires another tiny Transformer. <laughs> Bullet Transformers. <laughs> they fit into a uh, magazine Transformer. <laughs> this is, what was the point of that? Like, oh, shit, you know, like, I, I transform into a gun and then just... Lie down. <laughs> Lie down the the someone picks me up and shoot pulls the trigger you're so screwed like, motherfucker you better wait until my friend comes so i can transform <laughs> and put a fucking round in you no one remind him that he could transform into a robot and just attack <laughs> <laughs> you, you better wait man you better wait till my buddy the fucking tape cassette player comes. we're gonna fuck you up <laughs> yeah he's he's got the cassette there that says to like t- tell he someone, someone to, to wind it him back with a finger and i need someone yeah. to oh, yeah. meanwhile starscream transforms into into like a full f-15 with like bombs and stuff don't worry guys i'll go get someone to fire the gun but the camaro could still take him out well yeah yeah the camaro takes out the jet i don't know how the fuck this happened like they got onto earth they scanned around it's like okay starscream's like yeah, yeah i'm gonna be a fucking fighter and megatron's like oh okay i'll just be a gun like what happened Did they draw straws what, what, what the, hell okay, yeah. the biggest baddest baddie is gonna be a gun. Yeah, yeah. my intelligence officer sounds like he's gonna be a tape because like who the fuck oh, decided? They did this? a scan, he's like, Oh, according to this, guns are the most <laughs> thing on earth. Turns into it. How do I work this? <laughs> and then you got the guy that's a tank. He's like, Yeah, I don't know, man. Mine mine has wheels. <laughs> do you think like how would it, how would that look? Because the tank, you know, like your boss turns into this useless gun, you scan, you turn into a tank, and then you know, like what are you gonna be around your boss? You know, you don't wanna remind him that that's like <laughs> I transform into something like really, really much better than you. Just like crush your boss. A thousand boss. times better. Bigger like, and more powerful. Like, you, you have to carry your boss every time. <laughs> Dude, is he actually the size of a handgun? I, I think he did. Remember. He transformed. I it, is, he it a, is one of his. I think it's one of his. Or was he like a trans- giant handgun? No, he transformed no. into a gun, like a, a gun I think that other Transformers can hold. So bigger than a human gun. Okay. okay. It's a massive, yeah. like a Transformer sized gun. So he's more of a support character. Yeah, right? it doesn't matter because all the Transformers, they have guns like built into them. Yeah, no, everyone does. So it's like, oh, you transform it into one gun that I don't really need you. It's kind of weird holding my, you know, like fucking Megatron. It's here. your boss. Yeah. You have to, it's like if you don't use what, it. It's like, what, what, am I, what am I pulling? You didn't transform your nuts oh, into the trigger. Oh, don't worry about right? that. <laughs> <laughs> I got lots of ammo. It's, I don't know what the idea was when, when they came up with that. I think it was just a fun show for kids. It didn't need to make sense. They didn't actually have a Transformer or like toy that transforms into a gun, did they? No. That wouldn't pass nowadays, no. but back then it could have. No, I no, think I they did. Think they From did. Megatron? Yeah. Really? Yeah, Generation 1 Megatron. Like, they came out with the toys. They had the... Uh... Then that's probably the reason for it. Well, Optimus... It would have well, been a maybe. fun toy. They just made it into a toy. Yeah. And they just didn't bother to uh, make... strip <laughs> the cannon. <laughs> what about the tape cassette player? <laughs> Yeah, they didn't want to change that either. That's like, that had the biggest following. <laughs> the, the most loyal fans true. to that character. So. <laughs> Back then, oh man, they were gambling between 8-track or cassette. They chose right there. Yeah. Yeah, those guys got the biggest following. Forget the guy who 
the robot would turn into a Camaro or a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or whatever else they turn into. But, <laughs> Your friends, your friends turn into a Lamborghini, and then the guy turns into a Ferrari. You turn into like a like a fucking Toyota, like Yaris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fuel efficient, guys. <laughs> I'm fuel efficient. I care about the environment. Well, you think about it, like what, what did the Transformers eat? Do they have a mess hall. I've never um, seen them eat. I, I forget know. what they needed. Okay, most of the Transformers show that I grew up primarily with was Beast Wars. Yeah. yeah. And there was like a thing called Energon that was like yeah. needed. I don't know if that was like what fuels them per se. Think, Pretty much. Yeah, they, they did, but how did they Energon ingest... crystals, I'm not sure. I think. I don't know if they sniffed them or if they... Just... <laughs> they, they snorted. Well, I, or they just opened up a compartment and shoved it in or something. Eat it with their mouth. Put it into their AllSpark thing. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Advanced technology, it's... They're alien robots. I don't know. Well, I was thinking, like, you know, if you had that kind of dynamic where a bunch of guys turn into luxury cars, you turn into a Yaris, you know, like, at lunchtime, you just, those guys sit with each other and he, you sit with the other economic cars. <laughs> and it's like, oh, I don't really get along with them. They think they're uh, better than me. Ask the, the two Navy pilots who saw the flashing lights. Maybe they know more about how a Transformer, a Transformer. Transformer. <laughs> eats. I haven't watched any of the last. Transformer movies. They, you, you didn't? No, I mean, oh. they, they started getting stale. Yeah, it was pretty bad. God I watched up to like three or fifth, four. Fifth one? The fifth one was pure garbage. It was. You watched it? I thought you were going towards the other end. Like, I can't believe you didn't watch them. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dude, ever since, the, like, the third one was, like, the last decent Which one. Which one even. was the one that started starring Mark? Fourth. Yeah, I think that's the last one I saw. Yeah. That was the fourth one. That was, uh, what was it, age... Age of Tomorrow, Age of uh, what? Age yeah, of like, Extinction, Extinction. I really don't. Which was most stupidest? Sorry, most stupidest thing. <laughs> They're trying to bring like King Arthur into it. I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't think. You, I don't think you care that. if it gets yeah, spoiled, there. right? Is King They're, Arthur a robot? Ba- 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 basically, basically, okay. King Arthur in the past had his own human knights, round knights of the Round Table, and he had. Uh, uh, Transformer Knights. Why even bother having the human ones? I know. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if you have that option, then why? Why the fuck I, do we I, have the human ones anyway? Just fucking let's let's just. And they made the focal them. point. They made the focal point of the whole movie like the climax was supposed to happen at Stonehenge. They keep showing maps of Stonehenge, 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 Stonehenge. When they get to Stonehenge, nothing happens. Like there's no importance of Stonehenge. I know it's a bit too late for this, but we should have put a spoiler. Warning right. for yeah. a movie in case. that's been years. Well, okay. whoever. <laughs> what, three years now? What was the last? I think we're safe, right? Yeah. I don't know how the spoiler thing uh, works out. Whatever. After what amount of time is it safe to talk yeah. about a movie? It's a, it's but this a one's been out for a while. It's not a recent movie, no. so yeah. I don't know. I don't get what happened because you know, in that, that, that Transformers movie with Mark Wahlberg starring, yeah. like Optimus Prime, he's just what? He, he's like a more grimier. You know, he's like a more like a... Uh, uh, like a PTSD Optimus Prime. I mean, there's not. Yeah, which one? The f- the first one with Mark Wahlberg. I think the first one. Like yeah. the like one where he finds, he finds him. Yeah, he that's finds him. He's a rusted truck, the, yeah, and then he the... transforms. He's like he's just this, you know, just like, like this jaded cop veteran, basically. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. So like a uh, prime from like uh, the first Transformers movie. He's like, we're gonna protect everyone, you know, like we're I, we're the good guys. We're we're gonna defend Earth when we're also gonna be a shining moral example to everybody and then this prime is like oh fuck everything you know fuck, yeah <laughs> that's what happens when you're on earth for the too long <laughs> exactly yeah, what happened to his friends <laughs> they all i don't know i'm not gonna try and so explain many characters michael bay's. die like that's characters why i don't even remember dying. became a jaded cop because of that speaking yeah. of michael bay um bad boys three is a go oh my god <laughs> same cast it's it has a release really date 2020 july but is it like will smith and yeah yeah martin I think, I think they're both signed on. Yeah. No, okay. I don't, what has Martin Lawrence been in lately? Nothing. I mean, even Will Smith hasn't been in anything lately that's been good. At no, least. no. That's why they're doing Bad Boys 3, both of them. <laughs> oh, he did uh, the movie on Netflix, Bright. Did you watch I that? I didn't watch it yet. It's kind of dumb. Actually, <laughs> I, I did watch it. Overall, it was an okay movie. This, it's kind of weak storyline, but concept behind it had ton of potential see that's the thing i uh, netflix the, it's awesome that they're creating their own content but there's no like there's no bar for their content right it like, could be as high it, or it as could low be awesome it, something could come out awesome or something could come out complete 
like garbage. Like they just they're just churning. But isn't that isn't that true with most? You know, I guess studio. No, but most studios like at least they have you know they do a pilot. They have a test audience. I don't know okay. if, if Netflix does all that. Sorry, this like, brought into mind. Um, Fox recently they yeah. got rid of Brooklyn Nine Nine. Yeah, you know yeah. that was a huge show. I think it's it was, one of the best. Uh, yeah, currently, but they canceled it. Mm-hmm. What was the reason? The declining the, viewership over the years. So that's it. Then. Nobody yeah, was but watching it day but, one after that, NBC picked it up. Oh, because of basically. There's been so much people saying like outcry of why are you canceling it? Well, in the end, outcry isn't enough. They still have to see if NBC if they, if that show keeps up its numbers. Then yeah, NBC no, wins. But it's from happened all of it. plenty of times. And, before. But even if it doesn't win, like NBC has saved the day for a, a huge number of dedicated fans. Because even if they just do, they've done five seasons on Fox. So even if NBC does just the sixth season, and even if it does end up being just the final season, at least they got to complete the story yeah another arcs season. They got to complete the story arcs of the characters. If they're smart, stuff. they would play it like that. If they can do, if if the viewership is good or you know great on nbc maybe they can extend it i don't think there's really i mean it's a sitcom so it can go it can go for as long really as the viewers want it to really. i'm like, thinking it, it's not more an in-depth kind of the viewership drama the viewership there. declines for a reason right so if you know if it was if fox dumped it because it was you know like less people were watching it and nbc picked up you're gonna get a surge from the people that are like oh you know like the fans of it but it's still declining for a reason right? so if you're nbc i'd be smart I'd be like you know what i'll get it I'll make. I'll let them do a season where they can finish it. Yeah, but I won't drag it out because you're also you're gonna get the exact. Yeah, same no, it's true. Thing. I think I think most likely what NBC will do is just give them the sixth season just so they can finish. Yeah, the final it. season, wrap yeah. everything up, and then knowing the, the the people that do watch it, knowing that it, you know, like they, it's gonna be a final season. You know, Fox cut it. Yeah, they're gonna get that surge from all their fans and yeah. people that you know, like oh, I haven't watched it in a while, but you know, since it was almost gone, I'll yeah, tune in. You get that surge of people. You get that little surge of popularity, you can finish a season real strong like that. If they're gonna milk it, I think they'll just eat shit Actually, just like talk, just like the original. Really. Yeah. No, talking about Brooklyn Nine Nine, bro. I was thinking about it the other day when they renewed it. This is something that only ha- is only possible because of social media. Yeah. Because back in the day, like 10, 15 years ago, ten, even like ten, twelve years ago. If a show got canceled, it was canceled. There was no option of it coming back. But today's, you know, social media world, the fans, you know, cried out and it, they got it got noticed. But you know, back when we were younger, like if something got canceled, there was no way to even, no way to you. let them know that. I think they looked, still base yeah. all the TV shows off Nielsen ra- ratings too. They do, they do. But like this kind of, you know, these kind of events. Like the other thing that Fox did was. They canceled uh, New Girl last year, right? It was something like that. I don't they can right They canceled was... New Girl, but then all the fans were like, "What the hell are you doing?" So they didn't really renew it. They just brought it back for a shortened seventh season. So they got like eight episodes instead of the regular twenty-two or whatever. Well, I know, like so back they, then... at least they could, you know, close up the storylines and stuff. Yeah, back then, like they canceled. I'm pretty sure they canceled like Family Guy before. Yeah, and you know, due to Outcry, oh, did come back. I think years later or something. The other things they canceled that did, like Futurama was also canceled and yeah. it was brought back and then the ones that they didn't with, that were actually still popular at the time and it's still even they got like a cult following now it's like Firefly's a big one oh yeah, like, yeah exactly tons yeah. of people have like they still want more uh, stuff coming out well that's that, why they but, made a movie about yeah, yeah yeah to try to actually tie up all the loose ends but like yeah they canceled a lot of shows that were actually quite popular at the time they could have at least given a few more seasons yeah I and Firefly I don't know what was the problem with Firefly? It wasn't. They weren't getting. Uh, they weren't getting the viewership yeah, for some reason. I guess. It. But like, show wise, it it was a pretty decent show. It wasn't like it was. You know, oh, they also canceled the rest of development. Oh, yeah. the rest of development. They're coming out. With, but they're coming. Yeah, out I mean, it, it, yeah, it was back on Netflix yeah. for season four, and I guess now five. Out. Yeah, five's coming out. But yeah, four. I mean, I hear that it's. Have you watched four? I, I did watch four when it first came out. That's actually the reason I got Netflix. <laughs> Just to watch, yeah. Yeah. And Wait, then, you didn't have Netflix until Arrested Development season four came out? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that, he's so devoted. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's Arrested Development. I mean, I loved the show when I was on TV, but four had such a different feel to it. And I hear it is one that's like, if you rewatch them multiple times, it, it does get better each time. Mm-hmm. And you catch those things, like all the other seasons. But 
but it, it's yeah it's did, they, did they have the same guys that were yeah. doing yeah. season four yeah it's the original cast no I mean like the same directors same, same oh, those guys uh, that script, script, script writers and Ron stuff. Howard and stuff or they I'm pretty sure they were I, I'm not sure I didn't pay attention to that but uh, I mean it's also the whole time gap between you know the first three seasons and season four you yeah, kind of have to refresh huge. yourself you're like what the hell had happened you know <laughs> Yeah, it's like a huge difference, but you know, I still find it enjoyable. Yeah, I'll probably have to rewatch it before season five comes out. I don't know if season five is going to be the last one or if they're going to keep making more because all these guys are big actors now, right? So it's going to be hard to get. That's why they it took so long. It costs more. It, it costs, costs more, and that's they got to get their you know schedules all lined up. That's why there was such a huge gap between season four and five. Yeah, I mean that's reasonable. So I mean, um, unless they're going to keep doing it like that, like every you know three or four years, and a new season comes out, I don't know. But, or is season five going to be the last one? It's mainly like Jason Bateman and uh, well, who plays Job? I don't What's know his name. I just know they're, they're like the main. Will Arnett. I just know they're yeah, Will Arnett. Sorry, yeah, I should Will definitely Arnett. know that. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just Job, man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think they're like the busiest people. Michael well, Sarah. Well, Michael like, Sarah. He hasn't done much. But lately, he's got though. somewhat of a career now, as compared to when he the first three seasons. Oh yeah, for sure. Is, right. So yeah. I mean, there are conflicting schedules and stuff like that. It doesn't mean he's a multi million, uh, like a multi million. Yeah, I just don't know. Like, I, I think star, but... those two would have more of a scheduling conflict than other people. I but, would think. Yeah. Yeah. Jason but... Bateman's probably the big ticket out of all of them. And I even I mean Jeff Will Jack. Arnett does BoJack Horseman. Yeah, both him and Will Arnett. <laughs> yeah. Bo Jackman's uh, Bo, Bo Jackman. Bo, <laughs> whatever it's called. The Bo Jack. Bo Jack. <laughs> is it? Is that still on? Or is I heard that got canceled? Or yeah. unless I was like reading something else? Or I don't. I didn't hear anything about getting canceled. Like, could be wrong. Oh, it was his other one, Flaked. I think Will Arnett's other one, the Flaked. Oh, on I never saw that. I think that one got canceled. Never even heard about that one. Yeah, that's what I mean. Netflix just keeps pumping stuff out. Once they have like a dedicated, you know, actor or actress, or they just use them in as much things as they can, and they just keep pumping out stuff. So that's what I'm saying. Like, there's no. Yeah, there was that joke on like uh, South Park when they're like they wanted their show on uh, Netflix. They they basically call them, and the guy picking up the phone basically the the line that they give out for any time they take a call is like. Hey, this is Netflix. You're green lit. What's your <laughs> What's your idea? <laughs> what would you <laughs> if you're in that position? Netflix has given everybody a free show. Basically, you, you get your your show on Netflix. What would you have right off the bat? Right off the bat, it would basically be this. Like, have you seen the uh, Ricky Gervais show? I think so, it's basically yeah. their podcast too, but they have it animated for like whatever stories they tell or whatever it's like drawn out oh yeah they yeah they draw it out as well yeah that's the only pro the thing i have off the top of my head because that's what's happening right now oh yeah we just don't have the resources to do something yeah. like that. <laughs> so here's the for netflix by the end of it 2018 they will have a thousand original content titles like a thousand shows and movies. Well, I guess that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Better on original well, content. It still not, sucks uh, that a lot of stuff is. Um, it's not necessarily uh, Netflix's fault for it. It's more licensing stuff issues oh, yeah. that you know Netflix in UK, Canada, US, Australia, yeah. whatever. They all have different stuff, and a lot of them are good programs that are only available in one location. Well, no, no not really. I don't know if. Because anything that Netflix has a hand in in producing, they can. They well, yeah, can, like they're, they're they can air stuff. it in all, all markets. Right? Yeah, their so, original stuff yeah. they can air it on all of them, but other movies from like other studios, yeah, then they might have no, issues. Yeah, but the, the studios. I'm not talking about the content from other studios. I'm talking about the original content. They, the yeah, Netflix produce then. content. They have a thousand titles. Yeah, well, they will have a thousand different titles. Yeah. Or what, do you, what do you think would be the problem with that? Is it just because Netflix is probably the more the more popular, you know, like movie, TV show, streaming site out there, or do you think that it's like how would you how how would they solve that problem? If it because it, it seems like it it is it is a you know like a country sort of a copyright problem. Like 
you know, a show in America can't cross the borders to Canada, apparently. Well, no, but I guess they got to deal with that copyright issues. I don't know if that's a problem that is solvable. They just have to deal with, like, look, we have the rights for this in this country, so we can put it on. We can't on this this country. And you think anything yeah, would change different. if there was another video uh, streaming site that could compete with it? Like the Pepsi they're trying. To, to the Coke of Netflix. Amazon, Amazon is trying. Yeah. Amazon, Amazon is the Prime. Pepsi to the Coke of Netflix. Yeah, but uh, Amazon right now is more like the fucking, like, fresh or something. Not really. <laughs> not like, if, if if their Lord of the Rings series kicks up, then there's they'll be hardcore. To the lower extent, there's like Hulu. And yeah, the, yeah, but Amazon's, we don't get the Hulu over here. Yeah, that's right? only states too. So yeah, Amazon Prime is probably their biggest compet uh, competition right now. Yeah. So and Amazon Prime is working hard on making sure they become even bigger competition. So they have some shows, but yeah, like, American I'd, Gods is picked up. They had the. Yeah, I don't have uh, Amazon Prime, so I don't know what they have exactly. They have some. They have the yeah, American Gods. They have the Top Gear, uh, whatever the the the, the new, new show from uh, you know the three guys like Jeremy Clarkson, those guys. They left yeah. Top Gear to make yeah. Their, now they the got show. now they got Joey from Friends, right? Yeah, well, that, that, is that still going? It? I thought it got no, yeah. Yeah, so they got they got they got Joey from Friends and some other guys to take over Jeremy Clarkson. Uh, James May and uh, Richard, uh, fuck, what's his name? The small guy. I don't remember. Richard I didn't Hammond. watch Top. Those guys left with Clarkson, so they got three other guys to replace him on the the original Top Gear show. Mm. I don't know. I think it maybe tanked, maybe not. I well, I think it it's tanked. still going on. But then these guys, but then the three guys, the original guys, Jeremy and his two best buds, uh, <laughs> they they made their own show. Like, oh. Okay. Yeah, uh, the Grand Tour, I think it's called. Oh, that's on Amazon. That's Prime. on Amazon. Okay. Okay. So it's got, I don't know, besides those two shows, I I mean Amazon has potential to surpass Netflix. Kind of they got like the money. So. They are, but they're kind of going everywhere. They, they want to do a streaming site. They want to go into space. <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> see, Amazon is the DCU to the MCU. They're just trying. They got into the game after Netflix, and now they're just trying their hand at everything, trying to make it, try to get on par with Netflix. Well, yeah, but that's. I mean, at least they're good at their main thing yeah you, know, you think about delivery it and... yeah you think about it, amazon is actually the big behemoth right now because netflix is only streaming amazon's trying to compete in all uh, these no, different areas yeah of course but their streaming is kind of lacking right now but they have the potential like yeah i it, think if they wanted to they could surpass netflix i think they're being, they just have to shell out a lot of money they're just being cautious they right now <laughs> I, probably not. one 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 thing at a time like first thing they're focusing on is the lord of the rings they're gonna yeah, do they're from gonna, a business standpoint below it's like a big risk for them to just try to beat netflix at streaming just because they're so big already that people just suddenly jump if the Middle Earth series that they're planning, if it works out, um, it's supposed to be a prequel to like the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit. And if it works out, they're planning on like five seasons or something. If it works out, if it works out, that's the biggest gamble they have going on right now. If that works out, then they're solid in in Wait, streaming. So, like, well. if the pilot is successful, they're yeah. gonna sign on five seasons at once. Most likely, well, they well that's a big commitment. Well, what they said was they have like. They plan like five seasons worth like of five a, series worth of yeah, story. story. Okay, because yeah. they're probably gonna go with like you know the unfinished tales and the Silmarillion and stuff like that is what most people are expecting. Do they have rights to that? I, I don't the... know if they. I think they had a deal. They figured out something. Well, uh, the... because it's a prequel. It's set before the events of Lord. Yeah, of but I mean, Lord, what so, what's his or, name? Uh, uh, his son that he didn't want to like Christopher give up Tolkien. Yeah, yeah, he didn't want to give up rights right i know well, but i don't know they, look at jeff bezos they, they, they just walk they, into his house and be dude, like motherfucker i want to make a lord of the rings here i think i think tolkien's or christopher tolkien's kind of stepped down as head i think his kids are now in charge so i think maybe they're more lenient to giving the rights <laughs> okay because to christopher tolkien himself is like 90 years old now too. oh is he actually yeah. that old he's Damn. like he's a, he's a, if not 90 he's like in his 80s at least so well they would sell they will make money off of it Oh, they could make tons of money because I think there's supposed to be a lot of other unpublished works that they, they even had. Uh, just but held the, on to. there's nothing that's that complete other than the Silmarillion and Unfinished Tales. No, but they, they can just come out with them. It's like it's they like can Tupac, just, right? Yeah. You can just keep on coming out with albums after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they get a hold if they, if, <laughs> I was just gonna say that too. <laughs> if they get the rights to everything, then they could do that. But yeah, I don't. I don't know exactly what kind of rights they've got. But the story that they're gonna work on is a prequel it's, to. It'll be canon, though, right? I assume so. I would hope I, so. I hope so. I, I think it is going to be canon, but it's going to be a prequel. So we'll see how it works. But like I said, 
that's the thing. We'll see how it works. If that works for them, then Amazon is golden. You know, they have a new uh, Lord of the Rings book out, and it's... Uh... I don't know. I just saw it in chapters today. It was like fucking Bard and someone else. No, Baron and Luthien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's just one of it's. They flesh out one of the unfinished tales. Oh, I think one of the tales from Bard. <laughs> Bard and Bob. <laughs> Bard and Bob. Like I mean, that, Elves, man. that story's got... been told many times before. They just fleshed it out. Oh, though, really? And made so it, it's a separate book. They made mention of it in the action in the original Lord of the Rings trilogy. Well, it's there. Those two names are mentioned. Yeah, but the um, tale of Bard and Bob. <laughs> Bob the Elf. That's Bob like, the Elf. <laughs> They're both elves, man. No, that would suck no, to be the one's elf. It's called Bob, and the rest have like such majestic <laughs> names. <laughs> Bob. I, I'm Bob. Uh, grandfather of Elrond. <laughs> what, what, were you like named by a dwarf or something? <laughs> Bob was a very popular name in the old age. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, short for Roberto. <laughs> no one's buying it. <laughs> that's, that's how you know if something's canon or not. Guy comes up with the name of Bob, you're like, I don't think this is part of the canon. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that's bad. I, I have to buy that eventually. But yeah, you've I, read like everything else, right? Not everything. You'd really. basically be our uh, Tolkien consultant if we ever needed. You're like the I, Stephen Colbert level knowledge, right? I don't know if I'm at his level. Wait, I don't. Can, he he knows everything. He, well, he does. So he he's, he's recite, legit. He knows like the names of the ships yeah. and everything. Like I don't know that. Yeah, stuff. but that's on the show. He could have gotten the writers to be like, yeah, that's, search me some that's shit, true too. Right? But he, that could be the show. Stephen Colbert. Someone needs to like quiz him, you know, in a in a. Well, people, Franco well, tried, didn't? Wasn't it James? No, no, no we got yeah, more but, te- like like in a real. I'm talking about real yeah. interrogation. One light bulb hanging from yeah. the ceiling sort of deals, like. You want some water? No, it's been 11 hours. No, no, no. You have to answer these Tolkien questions. Yeah, no, because on the show, it could be just pre uh, yeah, agreed upon questions, yeah. rehearsed questions. Exactly, uh, right? So, so you don't have the Tolkien kid standing behind the one way yeah. mirror. <laughs> Two- <laughs> yeah, I don't think I know. I have that level of knowledge in like any anything, really. No, dude, I, I grew up on Lord of the Rings. So, I, like, I have a really yeah. specific non uh, money generating topics I, had. <laughs> I read the hobbit when i was like 10 and after that i couldn't put like lord rings down yeah i remember down. reading the hobbit when i was in uh, like around that same age yeah but then all the other books i just it was a lot later in life that i even picked them up but i never even finished like i i, I read up to part of the two towers i don't remember if i finished that one or not and then Return of the King, I just didn't touch, really. You watched the movies, though, right? Yeah, I watched all the movies. If you think about Which, it, Lord of the Rings, all of Tolkien's book, they're, they're all quite intense for a kid to read, if you really think about it. Yeah, The Hobbit is a lot The less, Hobbit is a, the Hobbit is, is a children's book. The Hobbit yeah, is a children's a book. thinner, too, so that helps. The Lord of the Rings, the whole trilogy, if you're going to... No, Lord of the Rings is dark for kids. It's not really a kid's. The Hobbit is the only one billed as like a kid's book, right? I'm not even saying, I'm not even saying just the, the, the dark, you know, like uh, plot. I'm just saying just the way the book is written, you know? What yeah. I mean? yeah, I know. The the language of the book. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. make haste. The kid's like, what, what, what the fuck is What, what are they that? making? Daddy, what, what, what is this? Yeah, I know. And the dad's like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard, I had read somewhere there was a. Uh, Plan, Tolkien had plans to go back and after he had done Lord of the Rings to go back and uh, make The Hobbit a little bit more adultish as oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> but it, Wait, it, the movies or no, the no, book? No, the books. Destroy the... Destroy oh, okay, the, sorry, yeah, I missed yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, and uh, there was also talks about he had even... Not talks, but he had actually tried to make another, like, you know, story after the events of Lord of the Rings, but that one didn't work out because it just... I think it ended. Lord of the well. Rings was too complete of an ending, yeah. I guess. <laughs> too complete. Well, no. the, the movies itself, it took like three oh, hours man. to end. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get a. You can't get a. No, a, I mean, ending of it is... it, but if you read his stuff, those are the two works that everybody knows about. Those are the two like actually completed works by Tolkien himself. Everything else on Silmarillion, the unfinished tales, all that stuff was done by his son going through his notes and editing everything trying to oh, make yeah. him coherent and complete that so. reminds me you think you think if Tolkien came back from the grave and he looked at his son's work you think he'd be like this is excellent son or what, what do you think he'd be like what the fuck is this shit <laughs> he'd probably I, have some sense of pride no, in his... I, I think he'd be okay with it he'd because be okay his, with it. his son 
says in like the forward like the intro to more, all the books that he hasn't added anything of his own or from his own i think he had to take idea. more of an issue with the movies he, he, more so the hobbit movies yeah lord of the rings was fine yeah. Hobbit. i know people have issues with one little book turning into three yeah i had three. an issue with that no but if you if you read the stories uh, everything that happens in the appendices of lord of the rings that's just basically brought into into the hobbit movies because it did happen before most of the, the stuff even so it's like three movies yeah it's but kind of funny it was you think about long. you think any other kind of book series like this has their own appendices like there's not many that that is like that right uh <gasps> stuff that have a lot of a set universe built in like, like but like at the end of the harry potter books you didn't have like an appendix appendices you know like they kind of did because like um well harry potter is more fleshed out anyway within the books right then there's no it's not set in another world it's just set in a slightly alternate world it's a world within our existing world so you don't have to create this whole you know no i bet you that's the thing with like i guess fantastic beasts yeah um they it's not really like an actual appendance appendices but it's just it lists out like yeah in it some creatures and they describe it and yeah stuff. it's more and after a fact but it's not like in the harry potter books itself just like a footnote and then you no, go to no, the footnote yeah. at but, the end. but then where books where they have created the, a world like george george r, r. martin oh Game yeah, of Thrones, yeah, yeah, yeah he he doesn't have appendices but he has all these other companion books like you know a world of yeah companion uh, books is fi- fire uh, uh, fire and blood is what's coming out now because he still can't write the sixth book or he's still working on it but and then there's a world of ice and fire, whatever the other one is called. And then there's short stories he has, so you know to complete the world. He has a whole he's history. Coming, he uh, has yeah, a whole history, like you know, just like, up, like yeah. just like for us, you know, the first peoples to come to North America or eight thousand years ago or ten thousand years ago. He has the first, the first men to enter. You know, Westeros is set at like eight thousand years before the events of Game of Thrones and stuff like that. So he has created a. a a universe a whole world right whereas uh, harry potter is just a world within our own like it's not like it's set on a different planet or set in a different time or set in a di- it's it's on earth there's new york there's london everything's there it's just a world that not many other people notice except for magical beings right <laughs> well i kind of mean i don't know too much about their universe but where is Hogwarts? And is it's, that is somewhere it's still Britain, on man. Earth? Yeah, but is it in a different? It's is it kind of like a Midgard, Asgard I kind think of thing, it, or it's, it's the same it's, place it's, but different realm? No, I think or? it's it's just protected by magic, like most people can. So see it's like a separate, maybe like a separate continent that you know humanity hasn't technically found. It's just where wizards and crap reside. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know. I'm not. I'm not much. Too realistic about this. Man. I don't. It's all fucking magic. There has to be I an explanation. They're all magic, and they still reside inside the country of origin. <laughs> Hogwarts. Uh, you know, they have to pay taxes to the Brit- British government. <laughs> Do they? I don't know. Dear God. Fucking. Well, I remember in the books they were they're saying, "Oh, I gotta phone the prime minister because everything's going to shit." Right. So obviously they got some sort of. But they got like the Ministry on. of Magic. Are you sure they were talking about that? Yeah, but like the Ministry of Magic, I guess you know, like it's just another ministry within Her but, Majesty's government. No, but it, like the normal people do know about about uh, wizards and stuff too. But I don't think it's on a a huge it's, level. Or, it's like a hidden compartment. No, it's like very basically. limited. It's a hidden compartment on the Earth. That's what, that's that's so probably what you got to think about. It's yeah. Somewhere on Earth, you, you shouldn't lose sleep over this. This is this is made up in some woman's head. So. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Jake, Jake Rowling didn't come through. Didn't think about like all oh, the, oh, the physical uh, possibilities of this. It's... You know, if we actually do get listeners, I'm sure there'll be uh, nerds in all these uh, different book series that will want to, you know, just ravage us on these details that we yeah, got wrong. Probably because I I don't know much about. Actually, anything. it was discovered in the sixth book. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think uh, we're going to just cut this. <laughs> <laughs> but with that, we're going to sign off for this episode. And thanks for listening. Anyone else got anything? Yeah, remember to subscribe to us if we ever get this fucking uploaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's that too. <laughs> Please subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to whatever we're on, whatever platform this is. Like us or subscribe, whatever you got. Exactly. We appreciate anything. Okay, All we're right. cool. We're out. <laughs> Bye.